Hi Aquarius, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. So I just want to take advantage of right now the really um, information that I'm gathering through different dimensions during this time. There's a lot of information that's I feel like I'm honestly just soaking up from, from the ethers. So it's going to be a Akashic Records read where really we're going to tune into the infinite database that stores and holds the memory of the past, present and future of all living organisms in this interconnected system. So this is us tapping into not just the self, but knowing that the self is just a small fragmentation of other fragmented pieces of the whole okay that are spread across multiple realities multiple timelines uh, multiple universes planetary star systems so we're going to tune into all of these different fractals of self i'm seeing like the coordinates during this time so a lot of you could be receiving in gathering a lot of intel in this reading from these other versions of self specifically too we're going to take a look at one version that is existing in another planetary star system that's leading a life as a arcturian assyrian lyran pleiadian uh whatever that may be for you guys any kind of ancestral star lineage connections that come through and then we'll see how they are overviewing your mission and dissension onto earth okay and how successful that mission is when it comes to being able to evolve and absorb back into the whole and then we'll also take a look at a version of yourself that has already achieved some kind of desire that you want okay um this is really about a version of yourself that has more life experience that is more knowledgeable has already achieved something that you are desiring and see what again information or how we can remove you this version of self and gather some type of intel see what advice they have for you when it comes to how you can attain this goal more effectively and efficiently and how us harnessing this knowledge can essentially transform your path okay um and i'm hearing the trajectory of your life so a lot of you this is really gonna completely keep you in alignment so let's go ahead and see what's going on now <laughs> yeah it's different branches of the same network so yeah there's a lot that's going on we're gonna be tuning into a network it's like a tree right it's like the earth is the tree the akashic records the roots right the memory and these different fractals of self are like the branches of these different versions because every decision we make creates a branching universe and there's the same beginning that you've had you've all come from the same roots you've all come from the same source however your decisions have uh fractured off different universes okay so we're going to be tuning into the one that you again feel like on earth um is a network that you want to be able to travel down okay so let's go ahead and begin um uh you know i've been sipping on some blue lotus tea i didn't really know what the like what the dosage was or potency of it but i honestly i'm just you're not even going to be talking to my form in a minute it's going to be my multi-dimensional you know archetypal form so i'm really just going to be taking a back seat but i've been sipping on this tea boy and i've been like <laughs> i'm going on a trip on my favorite rocket ship <laughs> swimming through the sky little einstein that's how i feel i'm feeling like you know climb a border crisis let's get ready to explore right we have fifth house wow and you have cancer and energy too so first of all yourself from a planetary star system is seeing you as really tuning into your inner child a lot of you um there's something around your unlocking some kind of gift um maybe some of you've been hiding this away from the world or maybe as a child you've kind of kept this to yourself in some way but you're tuning back into that inner child and this version of self is basically sees you as having this natural talent gift skill or ability that you possess or you harness or that you've been encoded within and there's something about your creation all right you stepping into a creator state some of you are natural performers this is where you have fun romance and create the things that you're proud of you could be natural artists right this person is drawing um dances there right but there's something that's merging when it comes to the non-physical realm and the physical realm because you even have the beach and the sand in the background there as well so what i'm seeing is that you're being guided by invisible forces when it comes to how to execute some kind of creative hobby some of you i'm hearing i mean, i'm i was hearing snowball effect and then i heard it's more than a snow, snowball effect it's an avalanche so some of you this is about to literally 
I'm hearing collapse through space time. This could be something that you're desiring or manifesting way more profoundly than you ever could have prepared for. This could be something that you're sharing or putting out into the world. Okay, let's see. You also have, yeah, readiness for change and an Aquarius opportunity. So 11th house, 5th house energy. Some of you are definitely destined. You're destined to do some big things here in this lifetime, man. Look at this. Readiness for change on an Aquarius 11th house energy. This could be what you're sharing with an audience. Okay, some of you, this could be online. Um, fifth house is anything creative. So this could be singing. It could be art. It's some kind of form of self-expression, though, that just lights you up inside. And it's something that feels like play to you. That's like the biggest thing. Also with the fifth house, some of you, this could be a chance that you're taking to put yourself out there. Maybe this is about um, building a community. It could be becoming a part of a community, organization, network. 11th house is where your inner dreams and wishes are going to be reciprocated in the external realm. It's where the cosmos grants you those wishes, especially, um, yeah, in regards to something that you're here to do. You know, we've been talking a lot about the fifth house. These are polar opposites as well. So I feel like you're learning to work with the opposites um, where you're not supposed to blend in with a crowd. You're supposed to bring a, like, there's something around bringing a bunch of strangers together and creating a community. You know, it's that type of energy. Like you, it's just your energy. There's something that you do that stands out from the crowd. Cause I'm literally seeing like Harry Mack vibes where, you know, he's that freestyle, freestylist, like he's super innovative and, Anywhere that he goes, he can turn like the side of a street into a, into a, um, what's it called? Like a stadium, right? Not a stadium, but like, um, a concert, right? It's like, he can just pull up anywhere and it's because he is it, you know, it's some of you, again, it's something that you carry within you. There's people that are just naturally drawn towards you or your gift or just your childlike nature and your doing something different than most of society you are having fun because you're tuning into your own divinity when it comes to things and that people in this life take so seriously it's like what people take so seriously the gods had intended us to have fun with and there's something about you're doing just that and that's what's making you stand out from the crowd okay and you're creating for creation's sake, not creating to be perceived. You're, you're just happening. You just happen to put your creations out there. And it's like, that's the very thing that's going to get you noticed for a lot of you. There's something around that with the uh, sun and Aquarius fifth house elements. All right. That's how this version of self sees you. So you're here to do big things here, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and open up with the tarot now. Yeah. Where's that other deck? That's how that version of self sees you. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Let's see. The archetypal forms could be significant for you, okay? Uh, because the Egyptian deck is like something that they really want to use. Let's see. Right, um, how do you see Aquarius then? Some of you, it wasn't easy to get here as well. Like your whole reality had to crumble to get here. Like the reality that you once knew. Six of cups there. Let me go ahead and pick this up. This is a past life cards, by the way. Oh, look at that. You can see blue lotus all over the, <laughs> all over the things, right? You can literally see blue lotus everywhere. Some of you are just like this flower and you're just blossoming and blooming. And as you do that, the things that you put out there are just naturally cross-pollinating, you know, because I'm seeing the bee energy right now. <sighs> I'm also seeing you guys as a queen bee. This is actually, actually outside Luxor Temple. That's what I'm recognizing here as well. So you've got the um, Aries Ram as well. So that's Mars energy. So there could be things, and that's the, the Emperor energy. So this could be higher levels of establishment within your career and other life goals that you've set for yourself. This is also Sun and Scorpio. So... <clears throat> 
there's definitely something that you're being guided to do. Um, some of you, like part of your soul's purpose with Sun and Scorpio, because it represents the soul and the essence, is uh, supposed to go through these profound death and rebirths and transformations. Like you are no longer even in resonance remotely with other parallel versions of self. This version of self is saying, look at yourself like five years ago, Aquarius. Are you, you, you're you so far away. There's a huge frequency gap when it comes to that fractal of self versus the fractal that you've now aligned with, you know, and they want you to remember that. You don't even see how much change is upon the horizon. Let's clarify this. Some of you... There's something that's fated to, to go down there with the Six of Cups energy. It's about this next chapter of your life. But some of you are waiting to receive like communication or insight, like some kind of clarification when it comes to, right, let's turn the page. Let's do this thing. Let's turn this hobby into a career. You know, this could be a passion project for a lot of you. OK, it could be a side hustle. Something that you're wanting to do, though, because you have the judgment there as well. So it's something that your soul's, soul's calling you to do. It's not a lack of calling that this version of self is saying is like your issue. It's more about a fear of fully um, aligning with that path because there's a lot of unknowns there. OK, now with the two of coins, again, this could be juggling between two realities. So some of you, this could be like a side hustle. This could be a even like navigating two jobs, you know, some of you, this could be wanting to be an entrepreneur, self-employment, independent contractor while working a nine to five and like, yeah, doing something, maybe you're putting music out there on the side, maybe you're, um, you know, auditioning for, you know, different roles, whatever that may be, creating something for yourself. Okay. This could be your own business. This could be, um, entering into like an entrepreneurial field for a lot of you. Uh, whatever this is though, it's like a passion project. It's something that you do creatively and you're trying to, I'm hearing just, you want to be able to shift to one specific continuum all right there's something around that they see you as somebody that's wanting to turn over this new chapter and this new leaf in your life but you you still have kind of one fit in the old world and one fit in the new okay but they see you advancing okay they see you ha as already had already being advanced because your mind previously i'm hearing was not even on this notion was not even on this wave you know it's something that you didn't really even think was like possible in some way so you're definitely opening up to that let me take a look at that yeah so the path behind you is no longer a viable option like it took a lot to even have this perspective shift you know they, they said uh <laughs> they said <laughs> like um i'm just hearing stubborn especially with the aries ram like some of you could have been really um like the ego did not wanna it's like you had to make a decision for your soul you know it's that type of energy and not just like ego desires for comfortability and familiarity you're realizing that i just get spirit came in and caused some kind of disruption right this could have been within your workplace within certain connections just things that were limiting you okay and and coming back to your true self okay and there's something about knowing that the true self is always protected so you can begin to just take more risks in this lifetime that's the energy that i was getting right But yeah, you have this ability to, yeah, it's like you have this ability. That's what I get. Like fear is a powerful motivator for most, but you are too highly spiritual with the sun and Scorpio energy to um, make decisions based for fear. So this is like different spiritual practices for a lot of you <clears throat> where you're moving beyond fear. Because even when you scan the brain and you do a CAT scan, you can see that people's amygdala, right, which is like the reptilian brain consciousness and people that just operate from earthly plane desires are easily affected by disruption or chaos in their life. Whereas people that have mastered meditation or being able to connect with that higher source and their true nature know that the universe is always conspiring in their favor. This is like a grand design that you signed up for. And a lot of you are remembering that or they've made you remember that through chaos, right? You're realizing that order always comes from, order is always restored from chaos. You know, it's like a restoring, restoring some kind of order from chaos in your life. You're realizing anything that hasn't worked out for you has been for a reason. 
And it's like the universe is moving things and people out of your way to make this happen. That's the vibe that I get. So I feel like you're seeing endings from a different perspective. They see you as seeing like chaos from a different perspective. I'm hearing they needed to collide or clash. I feel like you were entangling quantumly as well. They're saying like you were entangling quantumly with a old version of self and they needed to, this was the law of accident for a lot of you that they're saying had to be brought into your life to shift your perspective. It was the law of accident that came up so that you could quantum entangle, entangle quantumly with thoughts of a version of yourself on the earthly pain that has already achieved your desire, okay? It was really so that fear would no longer hold you back and your life could actually begin and you could start like investing in this thing. You have the emperor energy, right? Which is literally what we were talking about with the Aries vibes. Um, this is also Sebek in the background, which is that crocodile deity. So Sebek wards off, um, yeah, it wards off like negative entities or spirits. And the vibe that I get with this, honestly, is there's a lot of fertility with you guys here. And this version of self is saying that you're, you're made to manifest anything very, very rapidly that you desire into this physical construct. The only thing that was holding you back is honestly like evil eye or how people were going to see you, how they were going to feel about you. Okay, but that no longer is a factor. I'm hearing that's no longer... It's no longer a factor, right? With judgment. A lot of you, your purpose is guiding your career. Okay, they see you as your purpose guiding your career now at this point. Some of you, it's literally just because you, you were going to be misunderstood and that's something that you had to accept. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the literally destined and fated career. Okay, for a lot of you. Like whatever it is that you, 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 I'm hearing you've been planted to do here in this lifetime. It's for a specific reason, okay? There's something for a specific reason. Okay, your, your, yeah, your head and heart has also come in union when it comes to this. Like, you're never going to control how people see you or how they feel about you, what they may say. You can only control how you want to kind of ride that wave of momentum. And I'm hearing, like, any intentions to sway you off of your path is just going to be used as rocket fuel to further accelerate along the path of your destiny it's like you're following all that you already are not something that you'd rather be you're seeing yourself as already it okay you are it already all right let's take a look at advice that this version of self has for you at this point in your life but yeah it took a lot for you guys to get here a lot of you um like there were people that were making you question yourself <sighs> There was like comfortability factors, I almost get. Some of you, there was like a soul contract that you had to release so that you could actually do this, you know? All right, what's Aquarius's advice? We have the three of coins and then you also have the 10 of coins and the six of wands. Your advice is uh, literally to start leveling up when it comes to you like working on the things that are completely in alignment with your purpose your advice is to get ready to be in the spotlight okay and a lot of you it's your purpose to be seen or be noticed with the six of coins you know you're literally meant to shine and they're telling you to i almost get um building your internal network during this time. There's something about building your internal network. Yeah, you literally network with a star card. A lot of you, this even could be online or within a community. You're supposed to lead her with the six of wands or you're supposed to step into some kind of leadership role. Let me go ahead and clarify. Some of you are meant to work with other people. There's gonna be like fated encounters. Yeah, you have the full card with the 10 of, ten of cups. Uh, this version of self is ta saying, take that leap, take that risk of faith, right? And don't do it from fear, but do it do it where you may have the fear, but you're doing it anyway. So there's fear less, right? You're, you're, you, you don't respond to fear the same as other people. There's that type of energy. I feel like you acknowledge as well, this version of self is saying, yeah, acknowledge the fear that the ego may have but feel the desire that the spirit does you know there's something about making a decision from the soul 
and the soul says that it just feels like a receiving do you want to receive this life do you want to receive this level of recognition abundance you know whatever that is do you want to be able to walk the way that you want to be remembered in this on this earth that's what the advice is then receive it receive that timeline you know receive that embodying and merging with that next available version of self receive it it's just a frequency you know that's all you have to do attune to it that's what they're saying literally because you're destined to walk this path a lot of you you're literally destined for this this could be a career financial opportunity um a hobby some of you again this is an entrepreneurship for a lot of you um or some kind of level of like independence that you're going to be stepping into but yeah it's a le leap of faith it's a calculated risk though know that know what you're working towards right because you, your purpose is going to be guiding you during this time let it that's what they're saying let it like follow your heart's desires and allow the universe to reveal its secrets to you <sighs> okay let's go ahead and tap into the fractal self that's already achieved this okay this is going to be the fractal self that's existing on the earthly plane So again, it's different branches, but of the same tree. You have the same beginning. The choices that you've made have uh, branched off into different universes. So we're tapping into the multiverse right now. And we're going to see what they did, what a more experienced version of yourself that's already living your desires has been able to achieve, how they've been able to achieve it, and how they can assist you when it comes to unlocking these abilities, har harnessing this knowledge. And that knowledge is going to be power for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and see uh, how, what is this version of Aquarius embody? What is this version of Aquarius embody? Tell me about that archetype. What kind of archetypal role do they need to be able to merge with? You have the four of uh, wands and then you also have the world card. The first thing that this archetypal version of you, Aquarius, has uh, mastered is not extending any kind of soul contract out past its due date. Okay, with the wild card and the four of uh, wands, they are able to integrate every single dance that they do with every soul contract and they know exactly what it means in this lifetime and um, realizing that it is preordained and they see it as a gift. You know, they actually celebrate a lot of these soul contracts that have come through, especially when it comes to the ending, right, or the completion and what they've been able to learn throughout their experience. But there's some kind of integration They've mastered allowing people to flow in and out of their life, you know, knowing that a lot of people will come in to serve as teachers for them. And they are also here to do the same. Uh, so there's some kind of knowledge that you'll be going through. Like some, some of you, this is fated, like career contracts. This is every avenue of life. But there's something about knowing they know the purpose that other people have of in their life and the value that other people can add into their life and they also know when it no longer holds value and they no longer have any value to add okay so there's something around that like because people are going to come in and be messengers telling you who you are okay through that mirror and they recognize that they know when soul contracts come into their life and they serve a purpose to help accelerate them along their path but they also know whether no, when they no longer serve a purpose they don't push out past this expiry date okay so they know when to release it they have no problem releasing that okay and embracing those endings right that were once allowing them to grow but now become a hindrance to their journey or limit them in some way okay let's go ahead and clarify this and they celebrate it, right? But they don't hold on to the characters. They don't hold on to the stories. They just bring forward those lessons. They, they travel lightly. Yeah, look at this. The lovers, the ten of uh, cups and the will of fortune. Again, destined encounters for a lot of you. It's a choice point. Do I stay in familiarity? Okay. Do I stay in attached to the stories? Do I stay attached to the characters? Or do I realize that they served a purpose in the next chapter, but they don't in this next one? You know, because I feel like with the uh, six of uh, cups that was coming up from your 
multi-dimensional version of self um, existing in another planetary star system and that tower and the two of coins some of you again you've had one fit in the old world and one fit in the new for too long and you're still holding on to things for too long you're still holding on to connections for too long that you need to be able to release you know um and this is about knowing that yeah there's higher timelines really that await you there's something about like a destined turning point because wheel of fortune is all about karma and it's also the wisdom that you learn through those experiences they're saying extract the wisdom extract the knowledge um and bring it in its con con concentrated form and integrate it into your very being so that you can walk, walk forward free right knowing that nothing is holding you back anymore releasing the attachments there's something about moving through life in a very fluid way okay i mean fluid way like fluid velocity so some of you it's seeing the real field okay like literally seeing the energetic imprint that these energy exchanges have on you and how they affect your organism and then realize when they start to deplete your organism in some way that's what they've mastered okay and they're saying like relate change the way in which you relate to these uh contracts for a lot of you you know it's actually seeing them as a gift seeing them as a gift Okay, let's see what is the passage in time, what marks the passage in time that changed the trajectory in Aquarius' life? What risks did they take? You have the five of wands. I'm hearing a little competition ain't hurt nobody. <laughs> so uh, five of wands and the hierophant here as well. I'm hearing a, a wise person, an intelligent person doesn't argue with fools, okay? And um, this is literally rising above the fray, okay? This is knowing that you should not allow anyone or anything to pretty much um, disrupt you from your own frequency, okay? Don't allow anybody's absence nor presence to disrupt your very being okay be so rooted in who you are and your worldview and understand why people operate the way that they do some people are going to compare themselves to you along the path that you're on but they do not even compare right um they'll try to compete with you even though they do not compare and just realize that they don't feel full within themselves or whole within themselves right um and that's why they may be operating like this okay especially if there's contracts right there's some kind of contract that you guys may be they want you to focus on yourself because it could be about a fated contract that comes in for you guys and you need to focus on yourself and your own internal voice and not the noise around you let's see what this is Yeah, you have the Queen of Wands here, but you're going to stand out. Look at this. Five of Wands and then you have the Queen of Wands. She is literally a queen. Why is she going to be fighting with the Five of Wands? They do, literally do not compare. They are not even in the same playing field. Okay, you're going to definitely instill a lot of confidence in a lot of people and inspire a lot of people and you're going to intimidate a lot of others. Okay, so just be prepared for that now i feel like the defining moment though is you're going to meet like-minded individuals and people are going to see something about you it's not people that will try to disrupt your frequency that is going to define who you are but the defining moment and what it will mark the passage in time is the way that you handle these curveballs okay the way that you handle them with such grace and that you are powerful enough to remain humble and allow people to show others who they are okay there's something about your character that is going to set you completely apart it's all grace like a lot of you you're just going to be handling any kind of conflict because the queen of wands even in the face of challenge and adversity she can still continue to pursue her creative visions right she can massively engage with others and enable to be able to pursue it she doesn't come from a place where she is fighting for it you know she already is it she knows her worth therefore people see that you know so a lot of you is the way that you carry yourself you have to carry yourself with just this air of like elegance you know there's something about you being so calm and serene and who you are right and you know that whatever you're supposed to align with ultimately you will right with the queen of wands 
people are going to see that, okay? And that, that's what's going to set you apart from the crowd because you have two contracts, okay? Yeah, fated contracts. You have the Wheel of Fortune even behind that. So literally fated contracts are going to be coming in for you guys, right? People are going to notice that when it comes to your energy exchange. Again, pay rises, promotions, right? That's what's going to set you apart from the crowd, okay? That's literally what's going to set you apart from the crowd there. That was the fated moment. Not arguing with the pigeons over the crumbs, but instead soaring like the eagle in the sky and rising above the fray right knowing that other people they can't handle or sustain that altitude you know they can't they'll, they'll literally fall off there's such a huge frequency gap between you and others that people feel like you don't just talk a big talk but your actions and your aura present itself you know in a room before you even ever have to there's something about your energy that's just so different it's just so different Sorry, Aquarius, the camera cut off. But anyway, this version of self is literally saying, do not fight fire with fire, okay? There's something about knowing that your light is literally going to be a beacon that intimidates many, okay? But will also inspire a lot. Your name is being mentioned in rooms that you literally dream about and have yet to step into. Don't underestimate who's watching you. Don't allow people that may come in that are literally just jealous of you, right? Um to make you step out of character because you you are going to be watched especially online okay there's something about you are going to be watched and people are going to notice the way that you respond to uh audience to a community to people that may even be in the same industry as you okay and they are looking for somebody with like true character right someone that does not i'm hearing break under pressure or crack under pressure okay so there's something around that Again, the fated moment is going to be somebody in a high level of establishment within their career and other life goals that they've set for themselves is going to offer you some type of creative opportunity. Some of you, this is work, going to work together. Uh, some of you, it's for them to like hire you for some kind of position, but it's going to completely alter your life. Okay. It's like even under the pressure, you don't crack. Okay. I'm hearing even under like scrutiny or within the public eye, there's something around that like you don't crack. Okay. There's something around you like you maintain this poise. Okay. That's the vibe that I'm getting. And then you you have two six of coins at the base which is literally about pay rights promotion suddenly a gift comes in so there's definitely a vip watching you or people in high levels of um like society that are just observing or admiring your your gifts and your talents and skills but the one biggest gift that they're going to recognize about you is that you are like <sighs> It's not just the beauty of something that you're able to create in this life, but it's the beauty of your character. You know, there's something about like your literal, literal, like internal character. Okay. And your actions speak volumes about your character. Okay. And you know that everything that calls for your attention is not going to be something that you are going to pay mind to. You can even see the queen of uh, wands here. She's literally, she doesn't even see the people uh, like, you know, people are saying things about you oh what's that you know when people are saying things about you that's almost the vibe that i'm getting it's like oh what what did i do next i, I ain't never heard that story before you know this is some tea you know this is some tea what else did i do i i didn't even know that part what 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 else did i do because people are gonna talk aquarius that's the vibe that i'm getting like people are gonna talk I'm getting the match energy with this right the little match energy where people are gonna talk a big talk and when it comes time to you know just people gonna go out of their way right but they have no business fighting with you this is literally the fire that they intend right these tiny 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 box of matches this is literally the fire they talk all that big talk like a wildfire but they're going to be holding like a little match like this up to a big wildfire they don't even know what they're in for right they're about to set themselves alight shit like your energy is just going to be contagious there's something around that like does i just can't like that's literally it that's that type of vibe anyway that's what this version of self is gonna is uh saying to you all right let's go ahead and take a look at some advice for you then let's take a look at some advice Yeah, the five of coins that's coming out, okay. Oops, let's see. You have the tower, oh, 
fat stack. Let's try and get one. Five of coins. What else? And the moon. Yeah, your advice from this version of self is don't allow the unknown to prevent you. You know what? You know what they're saying. I can wound this up in one quote. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember it. It goes something like this. Yeah, change is uncomfortable, but you know what's more uncomfortable? Staying the same. That's what your advice is here. It's gonna hurt way more to stay the same and leave your life as a what if, a but if, a should have, could have, would have. Six months is gonna pass anyway. So what are you gonna do in that time? You can have six months of excuses because your fear has hold, held you back. Maybe this is fear of actually receiving it, you know, receiving more. Some of you are stepping into that billionaire timeline. Maybe that's something that overwhelms you in some way. Or you can have six months of progress. Which one is it gonna be? All right, let's close out with, um. let's close out with a timing card. I wanna do a timing card and see if anything significant comes up. That this version of self wants you to look out for and then we'll close out there yep it's not worth waiting for okay so some of you are like waiting for the perfect moment it's saying that it's already here you don't have to push this again time is not linear right it's it's literally happening simultaneously it's not worth waiting for some of you let's see what else We also have stop waiting. So literally stop, wait, what, what are you waiting for? Aquarius, what are you waiting for? Stop waiting, what are you waiting for? And then you have me at the base. But yeah, stop waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for. This version of self is saying stop waiting. I'm getting so much deja vu throughout this reading. I don't think you guys know. There's something about another version of self because deja vu is literally about your thinking consciousness extending beyond the anatomical body that inhabits this third dimensional realm, right? And then it collides in the fourth dimension with other versions of self, right? Other thoughts. So it's a similar feeling under inaccurate recollection or circumstances. Okay, so you're literally merging with another version of self. They're literally trying to get you to pay attention to these hits, these concepts, these ideas that you have, and they want you to act on it. You know, there's something about acting on that concept, acting on that intention, acting on that idea and doing it now. Stop waiting. That's literally what this version of self is saying here. Okay. So, Aquarius, I'm going to love and leave you right there. Just do it. <laughs> you know, just do it now. What are you waiting for? But anyway, we're going to close out there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it brought you all the clarification insight that you need at this stage in your journey. If you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick for future ease, do consider subscribing. Personal reading details are also down below. But until next time, Aquarius, bye.